Okay, one more quick one here. We're going to look at a pulley system here. This is another example of a problem. Uh, I'm including for interest, but it's a little bit beyond the grade 11 level. Uh, what we have here is a pulley system with a 5 kilogram mass and a 1 kilogram mass where the string passes over the pulley and comes back up and touch, attaches to the top. So here you have two strings with the tension T pulling up on the 1 kilogram mass and only one string or one tension pulling up on the 5 kilogram mass. The trick here to remember is that as this system moves, it's going to move down this way, for every um, inch it moves down here, here that amount is some of it's going to come out of here and some of it's going to come out of here and so only it's going to move down a half an inch. See, like let's say we had this section here. If I imagine this half could have been right here and this half could have been right here. So this one kilogram mass is going to accelerate at half the rate of the five kilogram mass. So A, five kg is going to be equal to, uh, or sorry, A of the one kg is going to be equal to half of the acceleration of the five kilogram. Also note that while the five kilogram mass is going down, the one kilogram mass is going up. So the two accelerations are going to be negative of one another. This is a little bit different from our usual situation with two objects that are moving together because clearly here they have different accelerations so we can't treat it as one whole system. What we're going to do instead is we're going to set up an equation for the net force and as a result the acceleration of each object separately and then we'll use the relationship between the accelerations to combine those equations into one solvable equation. Let's start with the 5 kilogram mass. He's going to have a force of gravity of negative 49 newtons and be pulled up on by a tension of T. The net force here is going to be equal to um, T minus 49 and that's going to be equal to 5 times the acceleration. I'm going to call that acceleration 5 kg so I can keep it separate from the other one. Divide both sides by 5 and then I'm going to get my acceleration of my 5 kilogram object is equal to T minus 49 over 5. Um, okay, so that's 1. For the 1 kilogram object, I'll have a force of gravity of negative 9.8 newtons. And the tension force this time, because there's two strings pulling up on that object, is going to be T and T, or 2T, which means my net force, which will end up going up, is equal to 2T minus 9.8, and that's going to cause an acceleration on the 1 kilogram object of 1 times A, so A is going to be 2T minus 9.8, that's for the 1 kilogram object. So what I have here is an expression for the 1 kilogram acceleration in terms of tension and the 5 kilogram in terms of tension. I'm going to substitute those both into that relationship for their accelerations to find the tension. So negative 1 half times t minus 49 over 5 and that's going to be equal to 2t minus 9.8. Um, the easiest way to solve this, I think, is going to be to multiply both sides by negative uh, 10. And then that will clear out the, uh, the denominators on this side and give me a fairly simple equation to solve. So if I multiply by ten, negative 10, I'm going to get t minus 49 over here. And this is going to turn into negative 20 T um, plus 98. I'll bring the 49 over here and it'll become 147 on this side. I'm going to bring the 20 T this way and it'll become 21 T. I'm dividing both sides by 21. I get a tension of 7 Newtons. 
Now I can use this equation for acceleration to come up with the acceleration of the one kilogram block. Two times that seven Newton force minus 9.8. And that's going to be keeping in mind that this is all divided by one kilogram. So this, that's how this is going to turn back into meters per second squared. 14 minus 9.8, or I'll get an acceleration of 4.2 meters per second squared. Now what I'm going to do over here is I'll substitute that same 7 in. 7 minus 49 divided by 5, and I'll get 7 minus 49 equals divided by 5, 8.4. meters per second squared, negative. And you might have thought, oh shoot, shouldn't those have been the same acceleration? But remember, because of the pulley system, the one kilogram should be accelerating half as fast as the five kilogram. So one's 4.2 and the other one's negative 8.4. So that's consistent with the overall diagram. So again, relate the two accelerations by recognizing that for every one inch or one meter or whatever you want to say this moves, this one has to only move by half because of the double pulley line. Use the tension and the net force to come up with an equation for the accelerations of the five kilogram and one kilogram block. Then combine them all in one big equation, solve for tension, and then substitute back to find the accelerations of the individual blocks. So there's a pulley system question.